Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be attempting to get this vintage Bachman F unit running again. This is a nice little uh, Amtrak locomotive, which I uh, got in a recent unboxing, although I don't really know from who. They didn't put a name or a letter in the box, so it's kind of a mysterious engine. But in any case, in that video, I did test this engine out, and it didn't really seem to be showing too many signs of life. So uh, it, it doesn't run whatsoever. Who really knows why? But today we're going to try to find out and see if we can mend whatever the problem is. Anyway, let's begin. I'll quickly show anybody who hasn't seen this engine being tested uh, what it's doing right now, and then we'll go from there. So just a quick track test. If any of you have already seen this part, you can probably just skip it because I'd be surprised if the results are any different. Well, actually, giving it some power here, there's a little bit happening. A little bit more, I should say. We've got a light flickering, but... And you can see it's really not doing much, so there's clearly something not right. Probably an electrical issue of some sort. So we'll just pop the shell off of this thing and get right in. Looks like somebody's already been inside this locomotive because uh, usually these screws would be coated in uh, a certain kind of like a resin and I believe it's to prevent people from messing around with these drives because Bachman did uh, at one point have a warranty on these locomotives. I think they still do to some extent but uh, it's a little vague. Uh, anyway, let's try to crack this thing open and see if we can uh, dig around a little more. Well, the springs look to be in good shape. Sometimes you open these things up and they're all compressed and bent out of shape, but these ones are in well, perfect condition, so I really don't think that that's the problem. Let's dig deeper. Yeah, I'm really thinking this engine was involved in a flood. Just look at all the rust around those bearings. Hmm, I'm really wondering what the motor is going to be looking like. It's, it's for sure been expo exposed to some water at some point. Oh, crap. Well, looks like I'm going to have to try to glue that back together. Very common problem with these uh, older Bachman engines. You know how they, uh, a lot of them will make it like a very distinctive clicking sound. It sounds kind of like a two-stroke motor. And, uh... It's this. It's hard to see, but there's a crack in this gear, and uh, it happens quite frequently on a lot of these older Bachman engines. So there's one thing to mend. Anyway, let's try to open up this whole drive and see if we can get to the motor. Can't really see anything looks like wrong here. Might clean out the gaps on the commutator, but even those don't appear to be all that all that bad. All right, well, I guess we'll just put it back together and hope for the best. I would bet that there's a proper way to fix these gears, but uh, I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to try to kind of red green it here and uh, see what the results are. It might just split again. I don't know. It really depends, I guess, how much pressure it's being put under. So I guess we'll put this back together, dry off the excess, and then put it back inside the locomotive. So you have to make sure it's uh, straight and everything too, that's important. so sure about this. So 
So given how warped that last gear was, I didn't think it was salvageable, so I managed to find this new gear. The only catch is that it's a lifelike gear. Now, some people have told me that these are actually compatible, but I've never tried such a thing before. So we're gonna try to uh, see if we can make this work with a uh, Bachman locomotive. They do look very similar, so it's not impossible. At least for the small side too, they've got the same amount of teeth. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting. Must uh, drill out the original. Hopefully the new part will fit. Well, finally managed to uh, get this part on. This is really going to be interesting. If uh, if this works, I'm going to be impressed. Anyway, let's uh, start putting this whole thing back together. Well, so far it seems to fit, but will the wheels work? That's a whole other question. Before I put them in, though, I'm going to... Uh, Take a fiberglass pencil and just remove that little bit of rust. Yeah, the chances of this working, I'd call it a maybe. Let's get those brushes in now. It really wouldn't surprise me if this locomotive's wheels have something to do with its electrical issues. I mean, if it's been in contact with water, it's almost undoubtedly stuff on the wipers. So, yeah, we're going to try to crack this thing open here. Yeah. So, you know, like, here's something that's bad. You see how these wipers have some spring to them? This one has kind of gotten a bit stuck, so if we do that, it should make proper contact now. But yeah, just look at the sides of this. Like that's all grime right there. All grime there. I've actually got a bit of rust here. And yeah, like this grime right here. Really, really bad. It's actually It's actually chipping off the wheels. That's how thick it is. These wheels can be deceiving too, you know, like that doesn't look horrible there, but you take a, a track braid or at least a shaving of a track braid and you start kind of just polishing it up. I find in most cases, yeah, you see the difference there? Even when it doesn't look dirty, it sometimes is, which can still cause electrical issues. So I'm just gonna clean up all these wheels until they're uh, nice and shiny. All right, and with those all cleaned up, I think we can just put them back in and 
Yeah, that seems to be turning all right. Well, that gives me enough confidence to put the shell on. <laughs> Hopefully I'm making the right choice here. Anyway. Do all of you think is it gonna start or not? All right. Hmm. Well, it's certainly not flawless, but uh, I think it can run. I don't know. To be a lot happier going reverse. Keeps uh, seizing going forward. Well, now it's running forwards. I don't know. This is a very confusing engine. Well, it's been around five minutes and this thing is uh, still running. I think it has smoothed out a little bit, so I think I'll call it a day here. Fortunately, it does have that sound uh, that these older Bachmans are prone to having. It's all because of that one gear. But we've learned something new today, which is apparently you can put lifelike gears in these engines, so uh, I guess we can put another lifelike gear in this and we can actually fix that problem. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that that run did uh, smooth it out a little bit. At least it can start under its own power now.